hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be getting ready and then we're going to be talking about some tv shows that i've been watching lately that i feel like we've all been watching lately and just getting like my thoughts and my opinion so if you want to hear what I have to say about these TV shows that I'm going to be talking about today, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I got my hair up and back, went ahead and did my bras, and we're going to jump into this makeup and into these shows. So the first show that I want to talk about is Love After Lockup and Life After Lockup. So y'all know Love After Lockup is when um, the they originally get out of jail. And so that's showing like them being released from jail, um, the people on the show. And then life after lockup is um, after, you know, they got released and now they're like, you know, living, um, not, y'all know what I mean, not living in the real world, but them like adjusting back to, you know, being out and things like that. Um, now, I'm going to be honest, when it comes to um, this show, I don't really watch the whole show. Like, I only watch part of it. The only couples that I like watching on the show are Derek and Monique, Eris and Cameron, and Justine and Michael. And I'm going to talk about all of them and how I feel about them. So, I'm just speaking of, like, who I want to talk about first. Um, so... I'm gonna say it for that. Um, Eris and Cameron. So, you know, they got married pretty fast out of him being released because he wanted to marry her. And um, they got married like only a couple of days after he had been released from jail. And, um, you know, Eris, of course, accepted the proposal. And, well, the, not the proposal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the proposal. So she went ahead, accepted the proposal, and um, you know, waited for him to go through, you know, be at the halfway house, and then he could move to Tampa with her. And one thing about Cameron is he does not like being questioned. So when um he had went to got um was, i can't even talk y'all <laughs> when eris had picked him up right and when he finally was able to come to tampa and he was able to like uh be with her in tampa he had planned this like romantic like um, did date on the beach and she was asking him like where are you getting your money from and he was like you know what I'm saying I don't like the question basically he don't like her questioning her about where he gets his money from now Cameron is a street dude and you know Aries is aware of this and she just want to make sure that his money if he's getting it it's legit and you know it's not gonna come back to basically haunt them later because she don't want to have to go through another stint with him being in jail and then i feel like since he's moved to tampa um you know eris has asked him to look for a job and he went to the studio so that was a whole like argument that they had but one thing I don't, but and he did apologize about it. But one thing about Aries that I don't understand is like her daughter, right? Like, why is your daughter always with the friend? Like, why is she never with you? Like, in every episode, you never see the daughter. It's almost like, do she live here? Like, what's going on? I just don't understand. Like, I don't have children, but. How as a parent are you able to just leave your child with somebody and like, that's it. But you know, we don't know the whole story, so I'm not gonna judge it, but I'm just saying. And then you have um, Michael and Justine. So Michael and Justine, I'm gonna be honest, I really wonder what 
Michael does like to get money because he basically may just then quit her job and like basically become a stay at home mom. And I'm just trying to figure out what type of money does he make because you just got out. I think he said he had like a clothing line or he had a, um, a brand, like he had a business. And I, he did buy her a car when he was locked up. So obviously he had a little something, but I just think for me as a woman, I would not have quit my job because if you watched the latest episode that came on last week, you know, he had went out, brought her a ring because he wanted to surprise her with like a surprise engagement. And um, he had took out like $12,000 of their money. And that's a lot of money to take out and not replace back. And she was talking to him about it. And um, he gave some other reason why he took out the money. So she wanted to know what it was really for. But um, she was like, talk to me, you know, um, and she was like, you know, this is why I don't want to quit my job, you know, because I just want to make sure that we okay financially. You can't just be making decisions like that without me. And, um, you know, especially taking out that type of money. And, you know, he was like, I get it, I understand or whatever. So, you know, they kind of um, move past that. And then I'm gonna be honest, I don't like Mocha, which is his manager, because every time you see Mocha, he's always like, um, you shouldn't, you uh you gonna have to not show your ring if you wanna be successful and just telling him like um if you um if you you know, don't take your ring off. You know, labels not gonna wanna assign you and stuff like that. It's just like kind of rude, especially saying that in front of his wife. You know, that like, hey, um, your husband is not gonna be successful. We don't take off his ring and make him feel like that. But that's my take on them. I feel like they do get along good, but you know, I will be careful. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it was me, like, it's certain things out one of them, but she made the best decision that she felt. Another um, couple that I watch is Derek and Monique. Now, Derek and Monique, Derek is a habitual cheater, okay? He has cheated on Monique. When she went back to Chicago in a confessional, he admitted to having sex with over 10 different women. Of course, he didn't tell Monique. He said it was just one. And I feel like the thing with Derek and Monique, I'm gonna keep it brief with them because, baby, I feel like they are really toxic. I really don't feel like Derek really loves her. Um, I really feel like Derek is using her, using it for clout. You know, they're on TV now, right? They're on TV, people see him. Um, they was like in New York. They was on the Angela Yee show. You know, he's getting all this um, clout now. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but I'm going to use that word, clout. You know, people know who he is. You know what I'm saying? And he's very arrogant. He's very much feeling himself and things like that. And I just, I don't know. I don't like him for Monique. I feel like Monique could do better. I feel like she just accepts it because she maybe don't feel like she can get better and she feels like Derek really loves her, but I don't feel like Derek really loves her. Um, but that's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? So, and I think, you know, they both enjoy like reaping the benefits from being on the show. So that's just my opinion on them. But enough about that show. Let's move on to another show. So another show I've been watching is Love is Blind. If y'all have not watched Love is Blind, it is about um, the singles, both men and women, they go on, on this uh, dating show. And they go into what they call pods. So in these pods, 
they cannot see each other. They can only hear each other. And based off of a connection that they build, um, five couples choose to get engaged. So you're getting married without actually seeing the person but getting to know them emotionally. So as far as couples on there, um, you have Marshall and Jackie. To be honest, I just feel like Marshall is too good of a man for Jackie. Um, Jackie has never been in a relationship in her life. She's very much, I feel like, trying to please her family from the comments she's made about like her mom not really approving of her being on the show. And you know, they have these explosive arguments. And in one of the most recent episodes, Marshall said that he had left and went to his apartment because she told him she wanted him to boss up and be more aggressive. And he was like, I'm just, that's not my nature. I feel like she, you know, basically want me to be something that I'm not. And I feel like she pushes him away. Like she's always somewhere crying. Like it's crazy. Like girl, please, please, please get it together. Cause like, I'm just being honest because you have a man that really loves you and you're gonna push him away because, um, you know, you're out here just acting crazy. Um, the next couple I'm gonna talk about is Irina, Zach, and Zach and Bliss. So, if y'all watch the, um, the season, Zach originally chose Irina, but they didn't have any chemistry. I feel like when they actually saw each other and they got together, Irina was just like, no, this is not for me. And Irina like basically was like, I'm just not physically attracted to him. And basically all this stuff, saying all this stuff. And so they end up, you know, going in separate ways. And um, he ends up meeting with Bliss when he got back to Seattle and now they are engaged. And I feel like Zach is a little weird, he is. I do feel like him and Bliss are a better match. I do feel like they can make it, but I feel like one thing that's gonna always be a question is with the engagement thing, is why he didn't choose her in the first place and why he came back. And we saw that with a similar situation with, um, was it Ayana and Jerry off one of the earlier seasons of Love is Blind? Yeah, they're on Love is Blind and they end up getting divorced. So I hope they can work for that through that. I'm really rooting for them. I think they're both a little bit weird, but it actually works for them. Like they actually get along. So this is definitely a better match for him. Um, next, I want to talk about Kwame and Chelsea. So, uh, sorry, I'm on nose, CJ. Ooh, um, Kwame and Chelsea. So Kwame and Chelsea, to me, they do make um, a nice looking couple. So I left off on Kwame and Chelsea. I think they make a nice looking couple. Her dad was very supportive of them being together. Um, the only thing I could see that may be an issue with them is, um, well, two things. First, his mom is not supportive of their like relationship at all. And then also they have a um, living situation. So with him, he lives in um, Portland, which is like two and a half hours from Seattle, but he works remote. But Chelsea works in Seattle, that's where her family is, things like that. And so, um, I can see that being an issue because he's kind of like contemplating like, you know, really giving up his life in Portland to come to Seattle to be with Chelsea. And so that's one thing I can see being an issue. Well, yeah, those two things, his mom not being supportive and the moving issue. But overall, I do feel like they get along pretty well. Um, I, don't, I feel like they do have really good chemistry. And yeah, I think they could last, you know, they could work through some of those issues. Um, next, I'm gonna talk about Paul and Micah. 
Um, this is another couple that has the issue of uh, different locations. Micah, I guess she lives in Arizona. Um, from what she made it sound like, she lives in Arizona. And she, um, you know, she was telling Paul, like, we could be, like, by coastal, we could live, be in Seattle, Seattle sometimes and be in Arizona sometimes. And he's like, no, I don't really want to do that. I feel like we've seen it before with, like, other couples on Love is Blind where that issue of um, moving has, like, ultimately led them to stand no at the altar. So I feel like that could be an issue that they may face. But overall, I do feel like Paul and Micah have, have good chemistry as well. I do feel like they get along very well. I feel like she accepts him for who she is. Like even when she saw his place and she saw how like, um, how it was, you know, he had a lot of wood in there. It wasn't, it was definitely a bachelor pad. She was like, you know what, I've worked with this. I feel like they compromise and they get along very well. So, I don't know, like, I feel like that's a 50-50, you know? And then lastly, you have Tiffany and Brett. They are my favorite couple on the show. Um, to me, I just love how they interact with each other, right? Like, every time you see them, they always look so happy. I just feel like with them, they've had difficult conversations but I thought they've had like super, those super difficult conversations yet. And I just, I really hope that they make it because they really are my favorite. Like, and Tiffany's, you know, she's older, Brett is older. I think they're one of the oldest couples on the show because uh, they're in their 30s, but uh, my mid 30s. But she is so, like, I don't know. Every time I see, I just, I just feel like they are so cute. Like, I love them, and I really do see them lasting. Like, I feel like if nobody else gets married, they get married for sure. <laughs> so that's my take on that. They um, had up to episode eight. This is like 13, no, 12 or 13 episodes. So I'm assuming they're gonna release the rest of the episodes next week. Um, yeah, on April 7th. So they're supposed to be releasing those on April 7th. So I can't wait to see what happens and see what happens when like they actually do get to the altar so that is my thoughts on that um what other shows have i been watching y'all so i this is not like a, a reality show or anything um i've been watching i watched the night agent y'all it was so good like if y'all have not seen it 10 out of 10 recommend this action from start to finish and i really love it like it has a plot twist, and I really like that show. Um, what else have I been watching? I'm watching stuff on Tubi. Um, Tubi is like my my, my go-to. So on Tubi, I've watched Cheddar, Cheddar Boys. These are Detroit movies, by the way. I've watched Cheddar Boys. I really liked it, that movie. Um, it had my girl Erica Pinkin in there. I love her. Um, if y'all don't know her, she was in BMF. She played, played Dilla, the, the dancer. She also played in Secret Society. And she been everywhere, but she, um, I love that movie. That was a good movie. What else have I been watching? I've also been watching, um, um it's, it's a movie called I Love You More. Um, that one was a good movie. It had a plot twist. It was about a woman who she was married, and um, her husband just basically like I like he didn't love her anymore. I don't want to give it away if y'all don't watch it, but that's called If You Love Me. Um, but I've seen most of the stuff on Tubi, so I don't really watch too much like Tubi. Um, unless they really got something because <laughs> I've just seen everything on there. But yeah, I've just been uh, watching TV a lot more um, than I usually do. I say that because like I'm not really big on watching TV, but lately I've been watching it um, a lot more. What else? What other shows? What other shows have y'all been watching? Because, um, yeah, that's the only shows I've been watching. Like, 
What else have I watched? Okay guys, so we are all done with the face. I just went ahead and finished up my lashes and my lips off camera. My lip combo has been the same. It's been the ColourPop Petal Please lip liner with uh, Milani Soft Rose and Fenty Sweet Mouth. So I will have all that listed below in the description box for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment below on what you think about these shows if you watch them. Also, let me know what other shows you're watching or any other good shows that I should watch because, yeah, I have definitely become like a TV junkie lately. So, let me know. Let's you know, chat, have a little conversation. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future uploads. So, with that being said, that is it for this video and I will see you guys.